Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here with Scott Nichols on the lawn at the Concorde Elegance at Pebble Beach. Scott, what's going on right now, buddy? Right now, they're actually beginning to start pulling cars for awards on the uh, on the main stage. So everybody's kind of on pins and needles and wondering if they're actually going to be pulled uh, or be the, the fortunate one as far as in their class to be pulled all the way up to the stage. So I know that I I have a couple of cars here that I'm really, really pulling for, like this uh, 1968 Lamborghini Miura. Uh, it's actually the original movie car from the movie Italian Job. So right now we are, that's one of the ones I'm pulling for. The other one I'm pulling for right now is a 1965 Lamborghini uh, 3500 GT Zagato. Tell us a little bit about this Lamborghini. This Lamborghini is a 1965 Lamborghini 3500 GT Zagato. This car was actually a prototype car that Lamborghini had given to Zagato and said, hey, here's a blank slate, create us a car. And so two coach building houses basically were competing for a Lamborghini contract. One was Zagato and the other one was Breton. Breton ended up getting the contract as far as in the end and this basically ended up being the only Lamborghini Zagato that was ever produced. And it's one of the most, it has a, a front engine, V12 engine from basically the Mira and the Breton uh, bodied uh, 35, 350 GT. Um, so this is a very beautiful car. It's, it's not like anything else as far as here on the lawn. Uh, that car is a very special uh, car as far as uh, that we've spent a lot of time on and that we've been so uh, fortunate to be able to maintain over a period of years. So it just got back from Kyoto, Japan, which are, we're at one best of show. So this is, this is the most prestigious show in the world. So right now, if, if, if the car is really doing its best or it's going to be at its best, it's going to, we're going to find out here at this most world-renowned car show in the world. Yeah, this is, uh, right now we are basically at the Super Bowl of, of car shows, and Scott has a lot of time invested. How many hours do you think you have invested into this week, Scott? Uh, that's that's a really difficult question. I mean, you're between you're talking four cars. I mean, just the Lamborghini alone, uh, and that was already prepped for a show, and literally came back months later to be prepped again for this show. We had an additional 400 hours just in that car, and that car had already been prepped for a show uh, a couple months ago. So as far as when we actually some of these some of these cars are fresh out of restoration. So with that being said it takes it takes a lot more work to get them up to snuff to be able to be displayed here at the world's uh, most prestigious car show hey scott i greatly appreciate you taking the time to just share with us everything you got going on you're about ready to be on the stage accepting some awards i think i hope so i really really hope so and i wouldn't even mind uh, we have a couple of display cars here too and i really even wouldn't mind getting some elegance awards as far as for those clients even though they were not technically being judged as far as that goes so i mean we we drove up a, a bugatti 57 uh s atlantic uh which is about a 15 million dollar bugatti we put it right on the lawn yesterday so and it looks really really good down there compared to all the other Atlantics. So there, we might be able to pull a rabbit out of our hat on that one. That would be epic. And Scott, tell us a little bit more about the Lamborghini. We that Lamborghini was the Lamborghini that was in the movie Italian Job, the original uh, Italian Job movie back in 1968. That's really what put Lamborghini on the map back in the 19 in, in the 1968 19 uh 1969 area so but um yeah it's it's a great car it's not a a super veloce or anything like that it's literally a base mira from the movie and the great thing is is that even though it looks absolutely pristine on the exterior, what we end up doing is that we, when the restoration was taking place, the interior was still intact and it was, it was in really great condition. So they actually kept the original interior of that car. So whenever we got the car in from one of our clients in Switzerland, we actually 
prepare the exterior like we would like we would do any other car uh, but a lot more effort and a lot more nth of detail it's a great car and it really has a, a very strong chance on uh placing as far as here even though there's some very stiff competition like as far as one of the other clients that we did some work on uh which is uh jean todd uh who's the uh fia director for formula one and we also did some uh, uh and he used to be the head uh, main person at ferrari uh for formula one for many many years back in the early thousands when they were very very, very dominant. I greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos with Scott and more cool stuff like this. Thank you. Any last words for him, Scott? Enjoy the show. The most world-renowned show in the world. I knew there wasn't a car behind you. <laughs> <laughs>